Hello everybody, it's me again. So here we are, this is a GSX level 2 editor tutorial, uh, a basic one. I don't know everything about the editor. Um, I have trouble with SOD removing the jetways, I had a little trouble with this airport, I had trouble with the new Gatwick airport. It's a little beyond me, <laughs> SOD, but this uh, editor for GSX, I think I've been using it a little while now and I find it fairly easy. So if you want a basic tutorial, how do you customize the airport positions, add a jet bridge, customize it and move the trucks around a little bit if you have issues. This is a tutorial, just a basic one. Um, I was a few weeks ago, I didn't even know how to use this editor. <clears throat> so let's get to the basics if you don't know. And again, if you know a lot about this editor, probably not the video for you. But here we go. This is, uh, we need to first uh, go into um, key assignments and flight mode slew because when you're editing in GSX you're basically in uh, slew mode so you need to set up your keys or know them at least uh, for moving objects around in or the plane around um, you need fr front sorry forward backwards left right rotate object um, that's pretty important uh, so once you've got those set up, we can get back to the sim. And this is an airport I'm doing at the moment. I'm putting in um, jetways. This is Birmingham, Alabama by SXAD Scenery Developer. Uh, it's not a bad scenery. There's a photo real area which I've turned off around the airport. Uh, but it's, it's actually not bad, but looks a lot better now I've put the jetways in. I've done the A terminal here, the B's. And now I'm starting on the right side over here, whoops, on the C terminal or C gates. Right here, I've got these six or seven to do here. Um, okay, here we go. So let's first thing you need to do is get a good view. Sorry, easy dock switch around um, where you can see the parking position aircraft and the jet bridge or jetway over there. So this is C3. Um, last night, just before I went to bed, I pretty much did all of this um, position so it looks all good to me so how do we edit you can just control to f12 and get up gsx and selection 8 custom this customize this position or you can go into add-ons menu gsx and customize from there okay so it's already active yeah of course um, here we go so this is the editor keep it basic here just um, try it out and like I did just keep trying keep trying and you get used to it um, you've got two tabs here parking and jetway here so this is the parking gate type I won't go through all these basics I mean the, that's not the point of this tutorial it's how to edit positions um, basically the editor you get to it by customize any of these even down here customize locations it brings you to the same editor even if you click on jetway customizing the editor um, so first thing what I do when I'm doing a whole airport is do one gate uh, um, there's lots and lots of options here uh, jetways you can see pretty cool here there's loads of options uh, with glass in three tunnel crystal i think we had here three tunnel steel with logo without ground markings um so once you've got one gate you're happy with it you're happy with the length or the size or the style of the jetway then what you can do is select no i don't want to apply you can select here just um shift and select all of these gates and then you can select the type of jetway and the bridge model if you need to and then customize no apply it sorry and then all of the gates at the airport or what you've selected will be provided with one of these gates or jetways sorry jetways which i've done here you can see if i just click out these are the ones i've edited here the next one to wants to do will be around the corner here you see it's just basically plonk the jetway somewhere near the parking position it's up to you to put it in position so what I've done here I've got the jetway 
and a small bridge. This will basically go inside the terminal so it looks a little bit better connected to the terminal as, as with this round connection here. Um, um, it's quite a cool scenery to do here. You can see this black mark on the wall and these yellow posts where I put the, um, the stand for this post here and it's got the gate number. Couldn't be easier on this airport. They've really done it well. Um, okay, so let's do one. I don't mean let's get away, let's do a parking position. Oh yeah, I know the editors already, thank you. So, uh -uh, what did I say? Let's get a good camera position first before we go into the editor, right behind the plane, above. Okay, that should be good to see all the positions. Right, let's go into the editor. 12, oh, it's open, hello. All right, now the next gate I'm going to do is C4. Customize it. So it takes me now to um, gate C4. Don't like the camera position, sorry about that. Let's do it again. Um, you can see here with the yellow line, the nose of the aircraft and the marshaller is off. I find that with a lot of airports. And if we um, just go back down here a little bit, you can see the extension is of the center of the aircraft and the parking position is not quite in line with the yellow taxi line. So we'll sort that out. But how we work through this menu is um, you need keys F1 and F4. It's quite important. And the orange circle around the object is the one that you're going to be moving, editing, rotating. Okay, these are all the trucks, loaders, cargo, loader. Then there'll be rear stairs, middle stairs, front stairs. Then there's jetway, jet bridge, and parking. Parking position, marshal position, and stop position. And then if we go again, we're back on the pushback truck. Uh, first thing I do normally is do the parking position. Now, we just need to fine tune here. So I'm going to use the slew commands to, I'm going to rotate. So you can see they're rotating this down here. You can see this orange line to match up parallel to the taxi line. Then move, oh, wrong way, move the plane over a bit so that yellow line, orange line is in the middle of the taxiway. That looks good to me. I don't do this crazy perfect. What you can also see here is the stop position here of the uh, parking position. I, I want it in line with this. There's no CRJ logo here at Birmingham, but I want it with the short haul aircraft here. So if I pull back. Sorry, here the dotted line. I'm just going to match that dotted line there with the parking position. Good. F4 to go to the next object, which is the marshaller. And you can see, it's a little hard to see actually, but there's a taxi line, the extension, and he's not quite in line with that. So I'm going to move him over. And of course, you get the orange line there to really help. And I'm going to rotate him around. And I'm checking down here to see if that blue line is parallel. Now there's a little off up here, so let's move him oh, wrong way. Move him back a bit, rotate. Uh, just a bit of practice. You can do it pretty fast after you've done a couple of airports. And you see the plane uh, is still a bit twisted, so that'll be the next object, the stop position. So I'm going to rotate the plane, try and get its blue line parallel with the others, and then move the plane until it's as good as I can get it in line with all the others. Yeah, that's good enough for me. You can see here all the three parking position lines are pretty much in a line, middle of the aircraft, and that's good enough for me there to... All the lines are here on the taxiway. Good enough. Okay, next F4, pushback truck. Um, actually, I'm going to do this different now. I want to put the direct, uh, jet bridge in place so that later I don't have any conflicts where I get the pushback truck or the cargo driving through the jetway. So I'm going to cycle back F1. will give me the jetway. Now, this, is, this moves pretty slow, which... Yeah, it takes a little time, but I'm so close to the terminal, I'll keep at this pace. And you see the jet bridge there will just insert the, inside the terminal. Good. And we're about in the right position. Looks good to me. Um, I want to rotate that jet bridge so it's at right angles to the wall of the terminal. And really helpful is this line on the floor here. 
So I'm just going to rotate. Sorry, I'm on the jet bridge. Um, sorry, jet build, uh, bridge there. Sorry. There we go. You can see now I've just rotated that around. So this line is parallel with the terminal. And that's in a pretty good position. Maybe I'm just going to move it over a little bit. It lines up with the C4 designator. Now, what I normally do now is look on Google Maps and just see uh, what kind of angle the jet bridge is um, pointed. But I actually don't have the picture on my phone at the moment. So what I'm going to do, let's go to Jetway. I'm just going to rotate it. And normally, I, I point that about a 30 or 40 degree angle. Most of them are kind of the extension here is about in the center of this cross, this parking position here. That's pretty much where most of them are. Okay, good. Quite happy with that position. Looks good. Looks like the post is in the middle of these yellow posts here. Nice touch from the scenery developer. Good. We'll touch that up. Not quite happy with the alignment there. Okay, good. So let's get to the trucks and pushbacks now. So, of course, now if I'm moving the pushback truck around, it takes a little while to move him and rotating. What you can do is just click with the mouse when this orange is selected. And this point here, I can put that push back, back truck anywhere I want it. And then with the middle mouse button, you can scroll and turn around pretty fast. So of course, this is a nice area to put the truck in. Okay, let's put him there. You know, I just like to mix it up a bit. Don't put, always put them in the same position. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, he, shouldn't, he should drive then straight to the front of the aircraft, shouldn't drive through the, move him over a bit, shouldn't drive through the jetway stand. Okay, next will be the baggage loader. Now we have issues now, of course, with um, static baggage. You know, it, nothing looks more, nothing looks worse than one of these things driving through these static um, trucks and stuff here. Uh, another thing to consider here is which aircraft are you likely going to be using at this gate? Yeah, uh, for me, it's probably the um, ERJ, uh, sorry, ERJ or the CRJ. Let's go the CRJ. And the baggage hold compartments doors are on the right side. If you're using an Airbus, an A319 or something, you probably want to put these baggage trains on the right side of the aircraft so that they don't risk driving through the plane. Now, of course, they should here drive around the exclude circle of the aircraft, but GSX doesn't always do what you expect. So I'm going to be using this gate probably with a CRJ, so I'm going to stick the trucks over this side. There's one. Um, he's the front right baggage train, so how about I stick him here, over there, and I'm expecting him later just to drive over here. Uh, next object is the rear train, so he's going to want to go into the exit here. So I think, sorry, it's a she. If I put her here, something like this, nice and tidy, she's probably going to drive over here, no problem. We will see. Okay, now it's the orange uh, circle is around this truck, but read what it says. It says cargo train main. Now, it's not visible because there's no cargo in the selection for this aircraft. The configuration for this aircraft, I have baggage loaders, belts, not cargo trains. But if you were using a larger aircraft like an A321 with a cargo train, that would be placed here. So uh, if it was a larger aircraft, that would enter the right side of the aircraft. So I'm going to put that somewhere down here. Obviously, between the gate markings here, I'm going to rotate him around. I put him at about a 45 degree angle, so it's going to be parked somewhere in here. Good. Then we go to baggage loaders. Again, they're going to be on the right side of the aircraft. So let's put them both here. It looks like nice space for them there. He's the front loader. Now oh, let's stick him over here by the. By the train. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Next one is the rear loader. Let's stick him here, rotate him around. 
so I'll expect him to drive over to this door and now we have this cargo main I'm gonna put him over here next to the cargo rear or cargo train and this circle I think is um, how much space they would need if they were to rotate and turn when they're driving not the actual size of the object uh, next is rear stairs well never going to be visible on this because we're using a jetway unless you configure your aircraft rear door like an a319 320 or so so where are we going to put them i'd leave them maybe down here where they are that looks good stairs mid not going to be using those only maybe on a 757 so what i tend to do is just stick them somewhere out of the way here where they're not going to get in the way and the front stairs let's put them over there you can put them anywhere you want cool then we're back I'm going to press F4 I'm cycling through F4 here building parking and this is done oh stop position yeah one thing I didn't do is stop position I didn't get in line with the logo with the markings good how's the marshal yeah bring him forward a little bit should be visible from the cockpit there that's great yeah and sometimes you you know you come to an airport and the marshaller is inside the terminal uh, and you can just quickly go into this editor cycle through until you get parking system with the, the the man here and you can just forwards and back move him it's easy to do it takes a minute good we're done now we just press Y because we're in slew, slew mode so press Y to exit slew mode and that will exit the editor and save the configuration in um, Updata Virtuali GSX in that folder you'll see that there great next so we just repeat that and I'm pretty much done with the video of how to do it um, you know you there's other things here disable staircases I would probably do that but actually uh, if I'm in a CRJ there's no rear door so the, they wouldn't be activated anyway but you can do whatever you want here there's some options uh, you can also on the jetway here put a logo in so I go to here you know I can put some of these logos here at this airport I don't know if there's logos or which stands or which I have yet to do that uh, if you want gate number let's go to C4 if we want a gate number on here we'll apply that what happens is you get then here a little designator you can see here I've defaulted to it not to have one because the pictures I've seen at Birmingham they don't have them but I think it's a pretty cool thing you can change the color of that too but we've got this designator here on the the gate position on the uh, on the terminal so and also on the floor pretty clearly marked right let's quickly start this one go through this without too much talking uh, I don't want the gate number and um, we're in position four good customize excellent ah, I just want my camera position a little bit more in line with the parking good here we go I'll just do a pretty fast talk pretty quick about what I'm doing uh, like I say do stop position first parking um, okay stop signs in there I think I've already maybe done this one it's too good to be true it's all in a line huh oh yeah C4 is done I don't know why I'm doing this here yeah that looks pretty good that's the one I've just done isn't it I'm crazy okay so exit the editor C5 would be the next gate customize there we go okay let's see how fast I can do on without talking too much so parking oh hard to see with the sun there good rotate move over move over yeah 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 that looks good enough to me let's do the stop position oh, good enough bring that back stop position to the markings good not quite in line is it there we go good marshaller we'll bring a forward to there good let's do the jetway I need to just change the camera position a bit here there we go 
what was important. There we go. Jetway slider in. You can always fine tune and zoom in a bit, a little bit later. I tend to do that right at the end. Get a camera position that is closer to the terminal, and then just go through each gate very quickly. Okay. The bridge. Going to turn the bridge around. Looking for the orange mark to be parallel to the terminal. Good. And if you're done with the video, goodbye. I'm just going to carry on here a little bit, but I'm basically done. All I'm going to do is repeat what I've done already. Um, turn around, looks good there, good, parking's done, pushback truck, oh, interesting gate on the corner here with another another gate there, but I think I'll put it in there again, move him over a bit so that it doesn't get crushed by the jetway moving, uh, baggage train right side again, let's put them a little further away, a bit more interesting, another one, the rear one. I could put the rear one down here, like I said, that's always quite good to do. So you don't have a little plain dodgems with each other. Uh, cargo train. Yeah, not much space over here because you can see there's another gate. Of course, you're not going to be at two gates at one point, but there could be an AI aircraft come over here. So just be careful where you throw, throw these vehicles. Uh, load of front. That'd be a good position right there. I'd have put it like that. Load a rear right in front here. Yeah, I put it there like that. Good. Cargo, another cargo truck. And put it over here. And then of course the stairs. Stairs again, uh, not much space here. So let's put one over here by the terminal. It will look kind of cool. And one right up here, out of the way. There we go. Super, and that's it. I'm done. That's how quick you can do one gate, and then you're off to the next one. C6, and away we go. And it gets pretty, pretty quick when you've had a, uh, a few goes at it. It really does. It's not. It's really not difficult. It just takes time and getting used to. So enjoy. Thanks so much. I think I've covered everything. If not, please post it in the comments. I'll try to answer. Um, and enjoy. Bye.